Hello and welcome to Nikolai's Genetics Lessons and today's problem is a rooster with grey feathers is made with a hen of the same phenotype among the offspring 15 chicken are grey, 6 are black and 8 are white. And here are the two questions. Question 1. What is the simplest explanation for the inheritance of these colors in chicken? And as usual, if you need the time, I recommend you to pause video here, try to solve this problem on your own first and then when you would be ready, you can run video again and you can compare your answers with my answers and explanations. Whenever we have one, uh, for example, trait that in following generation would produce three different uh, colors in our case, that means that uh, here we have uh, incomplete dominance. And when we have one locus with two alleles, combinations can be as follows. For example, this can be capital A, capital A, and capital A, small a, and small a, small a. And uh, gray color would be produced by heterozygous genotype. So, um, if we would made heterozygous to heterozygous, what we are going to expect to receive in um, this mate would be uh, following genotypes and uh, genotype here means also phenotype. So capital A, capital A here, capital A, small a here capital A, small a here, and small a, small a here. As you remember, according to our uh, problem, when we made one gray rooster with gray hen, we got uh, 15 gray offspring, so, and 6 were black, and uh, 8 were white. And as you see here homozygous recessive mean white color and black color would be, uh, I would use different color, I cannot use black on black, so this would be black. So as you see uh, genotypes here means phenotypes and uh, in incomplete dominance when uh, dominant allele incompletely dominant over the recessive allele, uh, we would get intermediate color. So this would be black, this would be white, and this would be intermediate color between black and white, and this is going to be gray. And according to our Punnett square, we see that gray would be ratio of gray in the F1 generation would be as uh, 2 to 1 white to 1 black. And this is what we see uh, here in these ratios. So 15 chicken gray, 6 black and 8 white. Ratios is about 2 to 1 and to 1. So this picture explains and give an answer to the first question. And question two, what phenotypes do you expect uh, in the offspring resulting from a cross between a gray rooster and black hen? And by the way, uh, according to this problem, it doesn't matter uh, which color would be rooster. For example, rooster can be black and hen can be uh, gray. Uh, when we change colors, it doesn't affect the sex of the rooster and hen doesn't affect uh, ratios in the following generation. So, uh, if rooster is gray, so uh, his genotype would be uh, capital A and small a and uh, black hand genotype would be capital A, capital A. So this is hen and this is rooster. 
And when we build a Punnett square, we can predict uh, genotypes and phenotypes of the following generation. So capital A, capital A here, capital A, small a here, capital A and capital A here, and capital A, small a here. As you see, 50% uh, of the progeny going to be black and 50% of the progeny going to be gray. So gray rooster we cross with black hen. And the ratio would be one black to one gray and this is not sex linked trait so uh, both hens and roosters can be uh, black or gray. One more time what the difference between uh, incomplete dominance and codominance imagine that we have uh, a red flower and we cross with white flower in incomplete dominance result would be flower of intermediate uniform color that is going to be pink intermediate between red color and white color in uh, codominance when we cross uh, plant with red flowers with uh, plant with white flowers result would be a flower uh, that is going to have uh, patches of pure red and pure white. So these colors doesn't mix. Both of them would be uh, seen as uh, patches of clear color, clear red and clear white. So this is the difference between incomplete dominance and codominance. Here both genes are expressed simultaneously and here red is incompletely dominant over the white and color would be intermediate. And this is all for today. Thank you for your attention. Please subscribe for my new videos that I post almost every day. Thumbs up if you like this video. Please write your comments, questions if you have any and see you in the next video. Goodbye.